My father was always into horses, and you know, we used to go to the track, and he used to take us all there. I always found that fascinating. Every time I go to Meadowlands with him, we'll go on the backside and, and just to smell the horses. You know, watch the horses race and run, but I never thought that I'd actually do that for a living. My name is Ramon F. Moya. I was born in Newark, New Jersey. I'm 25 years old and I ride racehorses. My childhood was real, really interesting. Grew up with a lot of family. As any kid is getting into trouble, hanging out with the wrong crowd, I think you gotta make mistakes in life to learn anything. You know, I think we got in trouble quite a bit. But that's what made us who we are today. My father, like I said, he always was in the business. You know, he owned a couple horses when I was real, real young. As I started to get older, he started to get more into the business and he started to train and he started to work with some trainers. So my father gave me a call. I think I was about 18 years old. And he says, hey, you know, you definitely have the body type, you definitely have the physique, why don't you come and give it a try? The next day, uh, you know, I had to start from the, from the ground up. You definitely had to grind. You definitely had to be there. You had no choice. You know, if, if you wanted to do this profession, you really got to be into it. You really got to be there. There's no shortcuts. There's no, hey, I'm going to take a day off. Um, there's none of that in this business. My first experience on a horse, I first started getting on a horse on a shed row. And I started doing stalls there. I started learning how to deal with horses, learning how to bathe them, how to walk them, and properly get on them, properly get off. And that's only inside, inside the barn area. Now they clip me up and they would walk with me just to get my legs. And I'm not gonna lie, first sight I thought it was easy. I see other people doing it like, oh man, if he could do it, I could do it. It's easy, you know, I, I, I'm athletic, I could do it. And boy was I wrong. So one day, my dad just cut me loose, and my horse started running down the shed row. He stopped, I went flying off. And before I hit the ground, I'm like, you know what, this, this, ain't, this ain't for me. I just didn't want this chance to go by me, and then down the road, I said, hey, what if? To prepare myself physically was probably one of the toughest things I had to do. I think the fitness of a jockey has to do a lot with, um, with everything, really. Um, if you're not fit, you can't control a horse. You can't do your job right. From there, he took me to the racetrack and he basically put me on a real racehorse. That was tough, but I think that was the best way to learn. Galloping and exercise riding at a racetrack for about 
eight to nine months, and then I rode my first race. Quiere decir que se hizo yogi más bien a la a la fuerza. No no fue una cosa que fue una escuela a estudiar esto. Él puso todo su empeño, toda su su fuerza y entonces lo pudo lograr, lo pudo lograr. There's nothing that could prepare you for your real first race. You could do all the preparation, you could do all the working out, all you want and the experience and hands-on, that's what's gonna prepare you for it. I think what I love most about this lifestyle is, is definitely riding, you know, just overall. I think just winning a race, you know, ain't nothing like coming down the lane and you're going head to head and the fans screaming and the announcers calling the horses. Honestly, if, if I win a race by 10 lengths all alone, it, it's sure it's great, but to win a race where you battling through horses, man, I, I think that's that's exactly why I do it for. Eat Your Heart Out broke well. Baker's Eye Candy, Nifty Mambo threw on the inside. These three out for the lead with gift coupon away. Right I was dead last. I was Mama dead last at the, the half fifth. mile pole. And it's Cyrus and at the sail in the back. The half mile went in And next thing you know, my horse is picking it up. Top of the stretch. Gift coupon on the far outside. Baker's Eye Candy. Between those two, it's Nifty Mambo. After that comes Magical Bravado and Blazing Bear is trying to get involved late. Passing the 16th pole. And it is Baker's Eye Candy in front. Blazing Bear up the rail with a late rush. Here comes Blazing Bear in time for Ramon Moya's maiden win. And I remember Larry Comas saying, and Ramon Moya's maiden win. You know, all the work, all the hard things you had to do to get there and actually pass the finish line first. I don't think you could pay for a feeling like that. My relationship with jockeys are good. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a quiet guy in there and it's all, you know, it's all cool in there. I think you have to be competitive to race. You know, off the track, they're my buddies and we're all friends and we talk, go out to dinner and all, but on the track, it's a different story. Now, I wouldn't put no one in harm's way, but I am going to try to win the race by any means. So we're all friends. It's all love in there and it's like a big family with the other jocks. Let's get a nice move. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it is, man. That's a long, hard day. Make it taste just right. It's definitely interesting being with somebody that you know in the same sport as me. I, I never thought I'd, I'd be with someone doing the same thing as I do. But. Tito and I met at the racetrack. I was an exercise rider. I hadn't even gotten to the stage and as an exercise rider where I could think about getting to the races, but that was my ultimate goal. There's a lot of danger in horse racing, sure. At any time, anything could happen, and I think that's all in the back of our heads as jockeys. I have fallen a couple times, you know, knock on wood, that it was too severe or, or too um, career-ending. The day I fell, and I consider that one of my worst falls, was coming on the first turn. 
Now, I, I kind of see it unraveling before my eyes. You know, I see another rider just come down on another one. What's going on through your mind then is, um, you know, you're gonna fall. It's just how, how bad you're gonna get hurt. You got split second decisions. They come fast. You can't really think about it or react, you know. So I see it happening. By the time I try to pull my right rein to avoid it, it's too late. You're in the gate. And they're off. Will Unbridled and Biz Benasha break together. On the outside, here comes Molto Benny. Out of the rail, it is Ms. Liza. They head for the first turn. It is Ms. Benaja. We have a spill into the first turn. Ms. Liza. Unfortunately, I have been in an accident. May 18th, 2013, I went down in the last race at Parks. It was a mile race, and we were going into the, the last turn. The rider to my inside decided that he was going to cut out in front of me to go through an opening. I should have known to take out of that hole sooner. He came out too close to my horse and my horse clipped heels and fell. I broke three vertebrae in my back. My T5, T6 was completely shattered, T7 was broken, and I fractured my neck. Sorry, it's hard to talk. <laughs> You know, end of the day, it, it, if you think about all that riding, you, it's going to show, and you definitely can't perform. So you you got to leave all that behind. I'd always like to think of it as like you're flying in, in some way. Um, you know, you're just kind of out there free. You got the air hitting you. You're on top of a beautiful animal. The adrenaline running through your body. You know, it, it's it's fun. Just no, it's like no other feeling. I love watching him ride races, especially having the experience that I do now, having been a jockey and knowing what he's going through in the race. I get that heart pounding excitement that I used to when I was in the gate. It's wonderful. I love watching him ride. You know, at first when I started riding for my father, it's, it's all the pressure in the world. You know, you, you want to ride a good race. You, wanna, you want, you know, him to be proud and all. But as the time goes, you know, the communication starts to build and you start to build a better bond and you start to understand, you know, each other well. When I ride for him now, it's just like walking the park. It's definitely easier now. And at the end of the day, you always want to perform well for whoever it is. You know, as soon as I put my helmet and my vest on and I get on that horse, I'm going to perform the same way. Cada vez que mi hijo gana una carrera me siento bien orgulloso. Y yo espero que a medida que vaya pasando el tiempo las cosas se vayan mejorando y, y tengamos mucho mejores caballos. Working you know, son and father combination and especially being a little successful at it, you know, it's definitely, um, definitely the best feeling. Especially when you grew up with a lot of people and, and they all see you, you become something that they would never imagine. I think I want to keep going on with, with this certain career and uh, try to go to the maximum. Mammoth is home, so I, I definitely love to win one of those races. Nine out of ten jockeys are going to tell you the Derby, or they're going to tell you the Belmont, or they're going to tell you a Breeders' Cup. And honestly, sure, that'd be great. But for me, 
I think the Haskell is the biggest race in Mammoth Park meet every summer. I definitely love to win that race, man. I, I, th I think just like maybe hearing Larry, Larry Combs calling your name down the stretch, man, that definitely will hit home. So hopefully one day I'm in it.